like I found some really good deals at Old Navy. I don't love Old Navy because in the past they have uh, been kind of shady. Like you just had like a harrowing experience with Old Navy. I'm like, I'm seriously really upset. You guys are not gonna believe what just happened to me. Where we, it was such a big long process, but basically they charged us for something that we didn't buy. Like we ordered some stuff and we returned it. And then when we returned it, they'd never actually put the money into our account. So we had to, or Jen, I didn't do anything. Jen was on the phone for like uh, two hours with Old Navy trying to work it out. And they were just being ridiculous for $75. And it was like a hundred and something dollars, like 150 bucks. They're like, not, just just fix the issue. That's, if it's $75, no, it's not no, worth. No, it's not even, I, I'm still a little bit mad about it. So then we waited like a month and they still hadn't, the money still hadn't come into our account. And we were like, okay, it's been a while. What do we do? It's not even the money. I don't care if it's, one dollar or one million dollars if you make a mistake not you old navy unless you are old navy and if you are old you, navy i got a bone to pick with you um no but seriously like if, if as i used to work retail for like 15 years and i was the person on the phone like i had to deal with people just like me and i would never do the things that they did it was just so crazy they kept me on the phone for like almost two hours and then the entire time they treated me like I was lying. I'm telling them Jen. Oh Jen, your ass. Your ass is gonna get reamed. Like, well when was this order made? And what was on the order? And can you tell me when the order was made again? And what were you doing on July 23rd, 1975? Like, really? And I had a very pleasant face when I was talking. The best part <laughs> is what was this order for? I don't know. Yeah. I didn't make the order. <laughs> that was the thing that was so annoying is that I couldn't tell her what it was for because it wasn't for anything. It was a fraudulent order. So we went back and we were like, hey, you guys never put this money in our account, but we returned the items. So what do we do? And they were like, I don't know, just kind of wait. And I said fraudulent order and she did not like that. And she's like, well, you, this is it's not, it's not a fraudulent order. Like until they could figure out if it was their mistake. Cause they kept trying to blame it on the bank. And then I got the bank on the phone. They had like, they three weighed in the bank and the bank's like, well, here's what I see. This is this, this is this, this is this confirming everything that I said. And she goes, well, it seems like that, that should have posted cause the fraudulent charge actually happened on the 13th, but didn't post to my account until today. I have to calm down because this gets really bad here. Oh, and actually the funniest part, not the funniest part, the part that made us the most upset with them is that uh, they said, well, let's let's try it again. Like, we'll, we'll do the return again since you didn't receive your money. And they ended up, instead of refunding it, they ended up charging us. So we were essentially charged like $300 for these items. So we were like, hey, you, you took our money again. You didn't return the items, you took our money again. It was like this whole thing. And so then the woman, the old Navy woman goes, well, that shouldn't have happened. It shouldn't take that long for a charge to post. That sounds like a problem with your bank. And I said, no, it shouldn't have ever posted. It was a fraudulent charge. So just the fact that they were trying to blame my bank while my bank was on the phone, it was just really comical. And they were like, oh, just uh, show us the receipt. Showed them the receipt, showed them our bank statements, and they're like, I don't, we don't really know what to do. And then they were like, do you still have the items? And I said, no, we returned, you, you have the items. We gave them back to you. And we were supposed to get our money back in return. And they, it was just this whole thing. And it took literally like months to get our money back. And with all that being said, I will never shop at Old Navy again. If you want to shop there, hey man, do it. I won't be doing it. I got some really good deals. I got a like, a nightgown with like a nursing robe. I also got some just really comfortable like postpartum pajamas. Stinks because I really like their, their like pants. They fit well, but. If we really feel like we have to shop at Old Navy at some point, I will go into the store with cash. I will not use a credit card and I will not use their online system. And I also recommend that if you have your credit card attached to your Old Navy account, disable it like i know a lot of people will attach it just to make it easier so you don't have to pull out your card and like type out the numbers and blah 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 i wouldn't recommend doing that with old navy i've never had a problem with any other company but old navy they seem to want to use your card when you're not wanting them to use it so i wouldn't give them access to your card all the time 
at all. Me personally, I won't be letting them have it at all, but. And I said, I'll never shop here again. And I just, I shopped there again because the deals were too good and they didn't do that this time. So there's that. And I think that the biggest issue, and it's, it, I think Old Navy's biggest downfall is they just have like too many departments. There's the store, there's yes. online Gap, there's online Old Navy, there's Gap, there's Athletica, and each one of them is different. But I talked to five different departments and five different people on my two hour long phone conversation. And I think the reason why, because it's very obvious that I'm still kind of upset about it, the reason why I'm upset is because I had to tell six different people what happened and by the six parts the by the sixth person i'm like listen lady i'm sorry you're the last person that i'm getting today but like this is it you're getting it like <laughs> sorry so you know what you know what jen says to me you know what this goddamn jen says to me uh and she wouldn't help me until oh but she did what well, this was funny she goes i don't need you on the phone for the for the rest of this and, and i go oh, okay good she goes yeah that is really good like, cause she didn't want to talk to me anymore. <laughs> what? Yeah. What? You so, can't do that sort of stuff. It was funny, I laughed about it because if I were her, I wouldn't want to talk to me anymore either. Turn your mother effing camera off now. But it was just funny. But I was more mad because she kept calling me a liar. Like that was, I'm like, oh no. Like, I'm not gonna lie to you over $75. Like, are you serious? If I'm gonna lie to you, it's gonna be $75,000, okay? I'm not really gonna lie to anybody about anything. I didn't say that. I'm thinking this in my head. This is all going on in my head. Like, get out of here. I'm not gonna lie to anybody for $75. It made me so mad. Well, no. Who says that? I'm sorry, my arm is starting to shake now. Oh, I'm sorry. So that was our little, our Old Navy drama. And I'm done now. Thank you for watching. Please share this video with everybody so we can know, have everybody know in the state of Wisconsin and around the whole United States that Jen needs to check.